going to keep training for godliness, remember that we're going to do that by listening to the Holy Spirit and letting him make his fruit in us. So far, we've talked about joy and peace, patience and self-control, kindness and goodness. And this week, we're going to learn one more. The fruit of the Spirit that we're going to focus on this week is gentleness. And we're going to look at Genesis 2. So you can open that and read that with your family. So in Genesis 2, we find Adam and Eve. And they've been put in charge of the plants and the animals, taking care of the earth and everything that lives in it. And that requires a lot of gentleness because we need to take care of those things. So... How can gentleness train us for godliness? That's right. Gentleness is learning to care for others the way that God cares for us. And how can we care for others the way that God cares for us? Well, we can pray about how we can care for others and we can just practice it by being kind to plants and animals and just people that we see. And the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. All right, guys, so your challenge for this week is to practice gentleness. Now, some ideas for you could be um, planting something in the garden or taking a dog for a walk or giving a dog a treat or doing something to care for someone in your family. There's lots of ways to practice gentleness and I know you guys will think of some great ideas. All right, let's pray. Jesus, we just thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit and that you have given us this responsibility to just be gentle and to care for animals and plants and other people and we just pray that you would be with us and help us as we practice gentleness this week in your name amen